It's time for the main event of the evening, a professional 130-pound title bout. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts red corner, please make welcome the undefeated Ms. Zayel Lopez. JR, we are here for our main event tonight. This one is going to be unbelievable. Misael Lopez is Colorado's golden boy, make no mistake about it, but let me tell you something. Do not, and I mean this, do not sleep on Ricky Rodriguez at all. Ricky Rodriguez is here to make a statement the same way that Misael Lopez is tonight. And Lopez undefeated coming into the ring this evening. Obviously, he's going to want to keep that zero intact. So uh, you know he's put in a tough training camp for this. And he's, he's one of those, like we talked about, one of those special guys that does not show up unprepared. No, not only is he not unprepared, he's always prepared. But what's very important to this young man is to also give the crowd what they're looking for. And he does that regularly with his beautiful, beautiful boxing. But again, like I said, Ricky Rodriguez is nobody, is, he's nobody's stepping stone. He's gonna come in here and he's gonna give Misael Lopez a handful tonight, if not more. Lopez makes his way and around now, the ring. Fighting out of the Farmers Insurance, Thomas Swenson, Blue Corner. Also undefeated, please make welcome, Ricky Rodriguez. As it is our main event, there will be six three-minute rounds. And you and I talked about as the Weight goes down, the power goes down. Well, I'm going to quit saying that considering what happened in our last fight and not make any predictions about who might drop who in this one. What do we know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, uh, again, it all comes down to technique and speed. Technique and speed always beats power, as Conor McGregor tells us. And uh, But let me tell you this. I, I, I'm the main event of the evening is presented by Five Star Industries located in Greeley. Steel fabrication, metal containers, all colors available. If you can dream it, we can build it at Five Star Industries. Time to meet the main event fighters. First, fighting out of the dynamic mortgage concepts red corner, holding a professional record of three wins and zero losses from Denver Boxing Academy in Denver, Colorado. Please make welcome, Misael And now, fighting out of the Farmers Insurance, Thomas Swenson, Blue Corner, holding a professional record of four wins and zero losses, an independent fighter from Greeley, Colorado. Please make welcome, Ricky Rodriguez. This professional 130-pound title bout is scheduled for six three-minute rounds. Referee is Curtis Thrasher. In the black and red trunks, Mr. Rodriguez is an independent fighter facing off against the Denver Boxy Academy fighter, Mr. Lopez. This one should be fireworks, JR. Absolute fireworks. Undefeated main event fighters. And let's not forget, Ron, this is for the title. Absolutely. And immediately stepping forward, looking to take the center of the ring, is Lopez. Ricky Rodriguez looking not to waste energy right here. And Misael Lopez looking to establish the aggressor role here in this fight early. Yeah, Mr. Rodriguez looking like he's willing to take some time, try to get a read on Lopez. Always a difficult task. Go, 
lot of calmness from Rodriguez. He's willing to stand there with his feet flat and say, bring your punches. I'm going to see what you got. Very, very much of a power puncher is uh, Ricky Rodriguez, whereas Misael Lopez is very much of a technician in there. And it may be that Rodriguez is looking to set up counters here, seeing if Lopez drops the jab when he brings it back or, uh, you know, throws a hook and brings the other hand down, something like that. Try to capitalize on that power that he has. Corner Lopez asking him to please stay with the jab. And crowd liked that one, but I saw it glance off the arm, Ron. Yeah, I did too. Sounded good. Looks good too. <laughs> As you can hear, Misael Lopez brings a full house. So first half of this first round, definitely a feeling out round for Rodriguez. A little less so for Lopez, but Rodriguez can't do a whole lot more of this. Oh. Kept himself safe in that exchange, a one good punch. But, you know, you, you can't do that too much. Otherwise, the judges start seeing it as a one-sided one -sided affair. You know, and, and Ricky Rodriguez has a, has a counter left hook that can snap the head back of anybody up to 170 pounds. I've seen him do it several times. Wait and watch for Ricky Rodriguez to establish that left hook. Ten second clacker sounded. Finally, Curtis Thrasher makes himself known in the fight to separate the fighters. And now Rodriguez tries to get that left hook going, just like you talked about. Very good first round for Misael Lopez, keeping busy in there. Yeah, definitely a feeling out round for Rodriguez. Let's see what he brings in the second. Ron, if you're in the corner of Rodriguez, what are you telling him? You know, I think for Rodriguez, he's got, he, he, it's a six round fight. So he's pacing himself. He's absolutely gauging distance right now. He's also gauging the power of Misael Lopez, trying to look for different, you know, patterns as we take a look at this replay here. We're going to see Misael Lopez using that jab and everything off that jab. And there's the check hook that we talk about from Ricky Rodriguez. And how about if you're in the corner of Mr. Lopez? What's your advice there, Ron? You know, for Misael, I'm telling him to lateral movement, keep that jab pumping. Don't stop the jab. Utilize different levels. Hook to the body. Come back up to the head. And watch out for that counter hook of Rodriguez. That's exactly right. He's got a full arsenal, but there's uh, definitely one weapon that he likes to go to the most. And it's almost a reaction for Rodriguez to throw that left hook. It's a good way to fight. Yeah, it is. <laughs> throw the punch, it lands, and then you realize that you should have thrown it. That's when your training's been top notch. And Rodriguez gone through his feeling out process in round number one. I'd like to see him a little less flat-footed here in the second now that he has a little bit of a read on his opponent. Very much taking the counter-puncher role tonight as, uh, as Misael Lopez gets going offensively. But you cannot keep that kind of strategy the entire time. It's early in the fight, but again, you know, Misael Lopez is, like you said, banking those rounds early, Jr. And it, it could be a problem for Ricky Rodriguez if he doesn't get going. Good exchange there. The, brought the crowd into it momentarily. And we, we talk about Rodriguez trying to get a read on his opponent, set up his counters. I'm seeing Lopez doing the same, not only looking to set up his offense, but making sure that his defense is clean as well and that he's ready for what's going to be fired back at him. Defensively, both guys are doing a beautiful job of keeping their defenses up, both of them. 
as Misael Lopez gets into these exchanges, we see him bring that those hands up, and, and that's a good sign, especially when you're throwing. Yeah, and both of them doing a really good job of reading the other's punches. That's right. Here in the 130-pound division, it's coming fast. It takes a, a special type of athlete to be able to get a read on something coming that fast. Yeah. And, and Misael Lopez doing a nice job of opening up with a combination. Something I'm seeing here in the second round that I'm not liking too much from Rodriguez is how much he's letting his back get against the ropes. It's been, oh, hard shot there. Oh. And a good flurry by Lopez. But Rodriguez letting his back get against the ropes a couple of times and even backed into the corner a couple of times. Rodriguez, really a tough guy, no question about it, but he's got to be careful with that with that uh, return hook that we see from Misael Lopez when he's getting into these exchanges, especially when he's got Rodriguez against the ropes. 10 second clacker. Both these guys starting to feel warmed up. Bit of a sweat broken on both of them. Very nice flurry to end the second round for Misael Lopez. Aside from this being your favorite song, JR, what, uh, <laughs> what, uh, how do you see this fight so far? What are you seeing as Lo we take a look at the replay? Lopez is just the busier of the two fighters. It's obvious what Rodriguez's game plan is in the first couple of rounds. Round one was a feeling out plan. Round two, trying to establish the counters and catch Lopez making a mistake. And Lopez, not a fighter that's going to make a mistake and just really... Uh, pulling ahead to none on our unofficial scorecards by volume and, and forward movement. That's exactly it. Obviously, he's got to increase the volume and the output. He's got to start moving laterally. Can't stay there with his hands up in front of him. Can't take those jabs. Can't take those setups from Misael Lopez. He's got to move, move that head, move those feet. Moving into the middle round of the fight here, we'll see what Rodriguez's corner advised of him. And what I'm seeing already is Rodriguez felt the ropes touch his back and immediately worked to get off the ropes. Might have been something his corner was in his ear about. Might be a little bit of a game plan. Start trying to keep it a little more in the middle. And I do love what I'm seeing out of Misael Lopez by cutting off the angles for Ricky Rodriguez to get out of that corner. I was just going to say what a beautiful lateral bounce by Lopez through the punch bounced right back into the escape route of Rodriguez. Cut it off. Misael Lopez has very much a, of a similar style to a Floyd Mayweather. Very tight, tight defense. Elbows in close. Hands up high defensively. Using that side step to throw that jab and then counter on the, uh, on the attempted counters of uh, Ricky Rodriguez. And nice right hand over the top while Rodriguez was trying to tie up his left hand. Good clinch work there shown by Mr. Lopez. Beautiful doubling up of the jab for Misael Lopez. I love seeing fighters throwing more than one jab, more than one punch at a time. It's the game changer and the difference a lot of times between hurting somebody and finishing somebody. And speaking of the game changer, Throughout the entirety of this event, we've been talking about how well the body shots pay off. That's something we're not seeing as much, and this is our main event here, Ron. I'm actually surprised. I was yeah, about to say of, that, too. A lot right. of head hunting going on yes, here. Yes, yes. Referee Curtis Thrasher makes his presence known. Outstanding referee. Beautiful left hook lands from Misael Lopez. And a, oh, look at him. Now he's starting to mix up the body and the head. Uppercuts, hooks. Well, Ricky Rodriguez standing right there in front of him, not budging an inch. Mr. Rodriguez really trusting his cover. That's what they call when you let your opponent tee off and you just put your gloves up. They say, trust the cover. Know that if your hands are in the right place, he's not going to touch you anywhere that it really matters. And 
boy, that's a that's a tough thing to do. That takes experience. Takes experience, but I just don't know if that's the right recipe for right now against Misael Lopez. You got to be a busy fighter against Lopez. You can't let him get ahead of you in volume, and that's what Ricky Rodriguez has done. Ten second clacker, and you're talking about that getting ahead of your opponent, and that's as we're getting ready to go into the fourth round. So if you're looking at it as though you're three rounds and up right now, Rodriguez, he and his corner have to be saying, oh gosh, in order to tie, I have to win the whole rest of this fight. Yeah, and that, that's a really difficult place to kind of come back from. You know, clearly the, the volume and the output's not there. I don't think he's hurt Misael Lopez yet with anything. I think for Misael Lopez, not only is he doing an outstanding job of keeping the volume going, but he's done a really nice job of mixing up that volume to the body and the head, especially in the last round. Yeah, last round, right as we started talking about, there wasn't any body shots. It's like Lopez hurt us, and that's when he started working the body and trying to get the, the hands of Rodriguez down because he does have such a good and solid cover, and it's so difficult to get through that defense. You got to start going around those elbows, start beating up that body, that's make it. him drop the hands. That's exactly right. But I do want to see Rodriguez kind of get going. I want to see him offensively get going. He needs to. He's, uh, in my opinion, he's down here uh, in terms of the scorecards. He's got to get an offensive attack going, and he's got to make it count. Nice job of Misael Lopez going to the body and then the head again. In the corner of Lopez saying, don't hold in there. They want to make sure that he keeps his hands busy. And Rodriguez, I, I thought we'd see him start to get away from it as the fight progressed, but he's still willing to just plant his feet and look forward and try to get a read on Lopez. He is, and he's relying on the power, but Misael Lopez doing a really nice job right now of scoring hard shots and a hard right hand. Oh, these guys are throwing right now. They are in the pocket exchanging hard shots right now, JR. By far the best flurry of the night coming out of both these guys. And a couple of times it was that left hook of Rodriguez that landed for him. You talked about it early on, Ron. He put it to good work there. He's a power puncher at this weight division. But Misael Lopez doing an outstanding job of putting that jab right there in the face of Ricky Rodriguez and following it with a flurry and heavy combinations. And that jab makes it so tough to counter. If a person's not setting up with the jab or if they're throwing only the jab, it's okay to counter because you know what to do as that hand goes back. Yes. But with Lopez throwing his combinations, the jab sets it up, you have to respect it, and then it's hard for you to counter because you know there's something coming in behind it. And really, that's what Ricky Rodriguez is doing. He's waiting for Misael Lopez to throw, and he's looking to only counter tonight. And I gotta tell you, again, this is, that's the wrong recipe against Misael Lopez. Gotta stay busy with him. Oh, these guys are throwing bombs in this corner. Lopez acted like he was going to let him out and then step back in for one more shot. Nice tactic. I think what Misael Lopez is doing is setting him up for body shots because he's focusing on the head right now. As he's, as he's got Ricky Rodriguez against the ropes, he can fake to the head and go to the body. Rodriguez is leaving it there for him. And we talked about Rodriguez letting himself, there's a 10-second clacker, Talked about Rodriguez letting himself be backed into the ropes, and he continues to do that as well. Continues to spend time in the corner, letting Lopez fire off. Another outstanding round right there for Misael Lopez. Again, staying busy, heavy volume, a lot of output, mixing shots up to the body and the head. It's, uh, I, I don't think that, uh, I don't think he's gonna have enough to be able to get Ricky Rodriguez out of there with a knockout but he is accumulating quite a bit of rounds in the bank, as you said. Going into round number five, I have it four rounds none for Mr. Lopez. Me too. Me too. 
And now if you're in Rodriguez's corner and you see the fight as as the way that you and I see it, Ron, you're starting to tell your fighter you have to finish this. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's at that point now. You need to finish to win this fight. In these heated exchanges, in these either against the ropes or in the corner, there is that opportunity, though. He's got to capitalize. Yeah, and that's where Rodriguez has had his most success. Yes. Is when Lopez steps forward and is in the midst of a prolonged flurry. Rodriguez has done really well in those exchanges, but it's when there's just a little bit of distance in this fight that Lopez has been able to pull ahead. Hard shots again for Misael Lopez. Mixing shots to the body. Beautiful digging left hook to the body. Outstanding. And that was as Rodriguez was trying to tie him up. And again, Lopez going to work. But as Rodriguez tried to hook that arm, Lopez just stayed busy on the other side of the body. Solid jab for Lopez there. Almost appears that Lopez is getting stronger as we're going into the latter rounds and not losing any speed while he's doing it. Not losing speed, definitely getting more comfortable and confident in his ability to be able to score at will and absolutely leaning on the backbone of that jab. Well, and when you're in a main event title fight, that's what you expect. Absolutely. You know, you're going to have the conditioning, you're going to have the technique. And that side stance is such a problem, too. If you've ever had a chance to box somebody that uses that side stance, it's almost like standing behind a wall. You just can't hit them. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's basically like there's half a target there. That's right. That's exactly what it is. And here comes Ricky Rodriguez kind of putting some punches together. Just need more forward footwork from Rodriguez. Yes. Spending so much time backpedaling. Yes, exactly. And again, that left hook, he's relying on that left hook as we've been talking about, JR. But again, he's just a little too slow and a little bit too out of range to be able to land it hard enough. Seems like the camp of Lopez probably studied some tape and knows that that's what Rodriguez favors and had, uh, had Lopez being ready for that coming into this bout. No question about it. But again, make no mistake about it, Ricky Rodriguez has got some power in those shots. Oh. That last combination by Rodriguez was probably his best of the fight, and Lopez looking to answer back. And again, Rodriguez tries to tie up Lopez, and Lopez just keeps his hand busy, doesn't let it happen. Great anti-clinch work by Lopez. Yeah, I tell you, I mean, I know it's saying a lot, but I see a lot of Floyd Mayweather in Misael Lopez. Very similar styles, comfortable in the pocket, never incredibly defensive. Oh, look at the digging to the body. And, Very good round. And Lopez not wearing himself out with these long combinations either. We're going into the final round of this, our main event, 130-pound professional title fight. and He's looking like, okay, I'm warmed up. Now let's get this thing going. You know, we talked about it earlier. Not only is he just getting warmed up, his confidence level is growing with each round. When you've got a fighter that's calm and he's gaining confidence as the fight wears on, that's a dangerous guy. The only thing that you're really looking for are counters, and you're looking right now as Misael Lopez is un unloading that flurry. The one thing that we're seeing out of Ricky Rodriguez is the counter. You know, the, he's trying to counter, but the volume is loading up and accumulating right now for Misael Lopez. And, you know, that's what we've talked about is the volume of Lopez. As much as we've seen him hit body, as much as we've seen him hit head, Rodriguez doesn't seem to be worn down by Not it. Not at all. Not at all. He's an incredibly tough guy. Little sportsmanship there going into the final round of our main event here at Sparta Combat League's Conflict. Is this our 130-pound professional title fight? Esteemed boxing writer Steven Johnson told me, do not for one minute sleep on Ricky Rodriguez. This kid is legit. And he sure is. But he's being outworked tonight. 
Absolutely agree. Great way to put it. Just the busier fighter is Lopez. And a little bit of a body lock and turn there by Rodriguez. Wants to have Lopez spend a little time with his back against the corner. Referee Curtis Thrasher not having any of it. Again, beautiful flurry to the body and the head. Look at the way Misael Lopez is mixing up shots. But again, there's that right-handed power of Ricky Rodriguez, as we talked about. Lopez did eat that big counter shot, but seemingly undeterred by it. And wow, after the referee separated the fighters, look at Lopez step forward, just oh, just really pressuring more and more as the fight continues. Able to turn up the volume, able to turn up the speed. You know, this is really where fighters like Misael Lopez are going to feel um, a, a very big impact as they make that jump into the next level of professional boxing. When you start getting into the later rounds, the eighth, ninth, tenth round, you're able to not just be more aware of what's going on, but you're not out of shape. You're not, you're not exhausted. Yeah, that ability to keep yourself clear-headed, to see the fight, and to listen to your corner is such an invaluable tool. And now we're seeing some beautiful bobbing and weaving right now from Ricky Rodriguez, but again, Misael Lopez loading up on the offensive points tonight. And that right hand that Ricky Rodriguez threw was the first time that I sensed a little bit of fatigue. Oh. Beautiful speed shown there by Lopez. And again, yeah. becoming the aggressor, JR. Rodriguez a little bloodied up now, starting to leak from the nose. And crowd getting behind Lopez here as we near the end of the fight. 10 second clacker. And Lopez continues to stalk forward at the bell. There's the end. We'll take it to the judges for what we assume will be an easy decision. Misael Lopez putting on an offensive display tonight, showcasing that body attack, the head attack, the lateral movement, the bobbing and the weaving, gauging the distance beautifully inside the pocket. Outstanding performance for this young man. As we take a look at this replay, all the offense was Misael Lopez pressing the action, throwing flurries, again, getting, wanting to put on a show for the fans. You can see it in them. Getting a little wild at the end, but pitching a shutout in my in my scorecard again, unofficial, but pitching a shutout, overwhelming the offensive output to Ricky Rodriguez. And for our viewing fans, I ask that you please stay. After six rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Blaya scores about 59-55. Judge McAvoy scores about 60-54. And Judge Short scores about 60-54. Declaring a winner by unanimous decision, Misael!
All right, it's Sean in the ring with Ms. Ayel. Grab your belt, the new 130-pound Sparta Combat League champion as well. Congratulations on that, first of all. First of many, I know. Yes, sir, I want to thank Ricky Rodriguez for coming ready and giving me a good-ass fight, man. Good luck to the rest of your career. And I want to thank God most of all for letting me get ready. And all these crazy good fans that are out here, man, thank you guys so much. Thank you to Jeff Cisneros, man, for a hell of a show. Thank you for having us. It's always a pleasure, man. Can't wait to have you back again. Congratulations on that bet. We'll see you again soon. Give it up for your new champion, Ms. A. Lopez. Please direct your attention once again to the big screens as we thank one of our Sparta Combat League sponsors.